Hello. Brand new hair. This is not really the first time I do it. I've done it before. But, yeah, I wanted to talk about it. Yeah, look how short, how much shorter it is. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Okay, I'm not even, like, whatever. This bitch never gonna see me again. But, yeah, I filmed her on purpose. She was just not... Ugh, like, I got there. I bought a sushi, you know, before I got there so I could eat it. And then when I got there, I started to have a smoke. So I, you know, my bag was really full of crap because it was so fucking hot for me that I put the clothes that I was wearing inside of the, the bag and I kept walking. And um, the bitch basically decided that she wanted to take some of the hair that I brought there. So in, anyways... Her friends pick up the sushi that I left downstairs and ate it like right away and then I made him puke. Whatever. They got all scared because they, they, their plan was to try to, I don't know, steal as much from me as possible if they couldn't do anything else because who cares. I get there. Her boyfriend is there. He doesn't introduce himself. She just tells me, oh, don't get gripped out. If you need to go to the washroom, my boyfriend is here in the bedroom somewhere. And then... He creeps out for at some point to go smoke. Doesn't introduce himself either. Goes outside, smokes, goes back inside. Whatever. Mm. They were acting weird the whole fucking time. So I just sat there. She was trying to make it as slow as possible. And then the middle of my hair here. She used the least amount of hair possible. Then she started using more on the front, so it's all uneven. So she could steal some of my hair. Ended up leaving about one bundle there. She could have, you know, made it a little bit longer if she used a little bit more hair, but she decided that she wanted to keep some. Can't even do shit with it, because if you want to make a ponytail for somebody, it will look fake as fuck and ugly, because it's not much left there. She told me even to take it. I'm just like, nah, I keep it. You know why? Because I never repeat the colors. And I'm sure you already know that. I always wear different colors. And this is the the second time I do it. Third. Third time I do it. So always I use a different color. I'll definitely be using someone else. I already blocked and deleted her. Uh, you know, after that, she tried to get a tip from me. I gave her a hundred. She asked if I went and changed. I'm like, it's 80, isn't it? Yeah. Because what? I'm going to give you a $20 tip for what? For trying to keep my hair. For trying to make me believe that she wanted to keep these things that I put on my hair. Because they, the whole time, now you know, I just wanted to leave. But then when I showed that I had those, she started putting them all on my hair to try to make me believe that she was going to take some, at least one, just to piss me off. Because she wanted to do it the whole time. And I'm just like, oh my god, this was like a dollar. You want me to be like, what, paranoid and irritated if you take one? I will punish you regardless, but hey, it's a dollar. Like, are you really that dumb? Yes. Why, nigger? <laughs> Remember the one from the library? Yeah. They're probably friends. I don't know. They seem to always be friends. I don't know. If you're stupid like that, you gotta be friends. You know what I mean? Who else are you gonna find friends? <laughs> They always think I lied, right? Anyway. Didn't steal any of these things that I had in my hair. She just took the fucking sushi. One of her friends, because I left it downstairs and it dropped. It came out of my bag. As soon as I got up to go inside, people saw it, but they act like they did. And then they picked it up right away and let them know right away that they picked it up. Because whatever. So I, I made up an excuse and said that I was going to go downstairs to see if it was still there. No. Yeah. I took all my bags. I just wanted to show her that I didn't trust her. Like, right away. I took all my bags to go see if the sushi was still outside. Yeah, it was just an excuse to show her that I didn't trust her. Hey, see? I'm gonna go downstairs real quick, but I'll take every single bag of mine. Because I don't trust you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm nice, aren't I? 
Anyways. Don't trust her. Don't trust her little white stupid boyfriend because she wanted me to see that he was white. I'm just like, yeah, he's a nigger inside of a white man's body. He's a nigger just like you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I am so alien, but so alien, but so alien. That I, can't. I do. I call white people niggers all the time. But they want to act. Like, this is the reason why they're coming out at me because I call like, other black people niggers. Then, you know, let's just act like that's the reason. Like, what is the reason? They don't even know. You know what the reason is? They want to save the planet, but they're, they're like drug dealers and shit. <laughs> yeah, you really do want to save the planet, don't you? Imagine those running the planet. Uh-huh, yeah. You think they're saving anything? Or they want to dominate it? They, even know, they don't know what domination is. They don't know what saving is. They don't know what anything is. They just want to do it. Whatever it is, just let me do it. If, in, if, if it includes violence, I want to do it. If it's reckless, I want to do it. Let me do it. Yes, punish me after, but let me do it. I want to be able to talk about it. I did this. Why? I want to make history as the biggest asshole of the universe. Yeah, I want to be another Hitler, can I? Can I please be another Hitler? <laughs> I wanna. Yes, yes. No, no. Look. That's some ambulances. They're leaving, but they're there. I know I'm bored of them, but there they are. Parked on the sidewalk, saving someone. Yeah, I don't think so, but the lights are there. Maybe they did, and I'm a complete idiot for just underestimating how much we all need them. Or, I don't know, maybe they think I have a seizure. Because, <laughs> you know, those are like that. They kind of just want you to have them. Selfie! Look at retards! Like this, like this. Yeah, Fuck you, bitch! Yeah, I hate you. <laughs> I learned something psychically new today. What's up? Badonka donk. I thought it was a badonka boo. But it's a badonka donk. I don't know why the donk at the end. I, I get the badonka. But not the donka donk. Why do you have to say it twice? It's because it's about the way you walk. Badonka dong, badonka dong, badonka dong, badonka dong. I love it. I love it. I'm gonna say that all day. Okay, what was the first thing again? The first thing was a full pot. The second thing is how to parachute them in the MA. The third thing. What is that? You don't want to know. <laughs> How do you explain to your kid what parachuting MDMA is? If your kid was psychic, you wouldn't have to. <laughs> Can you imagine your kid and then you pick up all this weird information? Mom, I learned what's a fupa today. <laughs> You don't have it, but there is a, a lady in my school. She walked in all wrapped up, and then I asked her why, and then I picked that out. She got a fupa. <laughs> what's a fupa? <laughs> she knows what's a fupa. I learned that yesterday. What was the third thing? I forgot. Oh, they don't know the difference between a full-on Jew and a cyberpunk. <laughs> <laughs>
That's the best one. They don't know the difference between cyberpunk and a Jew. Do you know the difference? The cyberpunk and a Jew. Of course not. It looks the same, kind of. When they're all dressed up, it looks the same. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I thought you just wear that thing. No. No. In the 1900s or 1800s, something like that, they were all like top hats and the big beard and the weird eyebrow, you know, brushed up. <laughs> yeah, they brushed their eyebrows up. They wear high waist pants, real loose, and oh my god, they really have no idea. Really? You don't know what Jews used to dress up like in the 1900s? That's funny. I thought they had pictures somewhere. Don't look like black and white. Yes, it looks like they're haunting people. Yeah, it looks like that. Yeah, they look at. The you look at the picture, it looks like the eyes following you. Yeah, they dress like that. <laughs> you know, like, it's the same shit as a nigga. Yeah, the African. Dressed up like head to toe with those weird colors. That's not because they dress up like that now. <laughs> because they used to dress up like that a long time ago. So nowadays, it's just a costume. So now it's cyberpunk for the Jews, for the blacks, I'm not sure. I guess it's like you went to the savannah. <laughs> or Hawaii, I don't know, it kind of looks like Hawaii too. <laughs> Not when you're black, but when you're white and you go to the savannah and then you come back, you look funny. <laughs> Same shit when you go to the Hawaii. Isn't that a joke? See, that guy was just in Africa. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> what, well, that bitch, yeah, she just... The white lady, she just came with dreads. <laughs> Dad, she got dreadlocks, the white lady. She was just in Jamaica, butt fucking some nigger. <laughs> Left her husband at home, the kids, everyone. And went to butt fuck some Jamaican dude. <laughs> I said, do your mom go to Jamaica a lot? <laughs> your fake is normal. How did you know that? It's psychic, bitch. Why do you have a problem with me knowing these things? So, uh, the people that you're talking about just walk by you and then you pick up those things from them. You are genius! Yes! Did I tell you that or did you tell me? It's confusing. Yeah, people walk by and I pick shit up from them just like that. You wish, right? Where's your little pony? That's all you're missing for the whole thing to match. You need a pony, bitch. You need a pony. <laughs> Red kids, right? <laughs> Can I have a pony, mom? Yes. What are you going to do with it? Nothing. I just want to tell my friends I have one. 